big time on it. <laughs> hey, take your phone so because no one actually knows that they're not going to. I wonder if you can go that way to the chair. No, it's down there. You guys get enough fire shots. Bears rescue. What's that? Were these bears rescued? Yes, they were. Um, both of them when they were very young. So this one here was found near Invermere along a logging road by first two workers. And they realized that he was just tumbling about. He was unable to keep upright. So they decided to leave him for a couple of hours and come back just to make sure that mom wasn't actually just around a corner. And sure enough, he was still all by himself. So they picked him up. They took him to a clinic, a veterinary clinic. And they discovered he only weighed 10 pounds and he was six months at that time. Oh. So he needed some fluids and he put on five pounds just in five days. And that same summer, Kula, I don't know where Kula is. Did Went you guys around see? around the other side. Yeah, well, Kula was found that same summer near Bella Kula, so the coast. And he was found next to his mom who was, uh, who was hit by a truck. So definitely orphaned. So normally at the time, uh, the government's policy in BC was to destroy any orphan gri grizzlies they find because in the wild they can't survive without their mothers. Um, 
but uh, the other option would have been a zoo and nobody was taking grizzlies at the time. And uh, then the third option was one that just came up that year and that was this refuge. And the aim wasn't to just keep Grinder and Kula here, but it was to learn from them so in future we can use that knowledge about orphan grizzlies, what they know instinctively, what they would have learned from their mothers at that age, and apply that to future orphans in the wild and then rehabilitate them and release them in the wild. But with these two, when they arrived here, they were already habituated. So it was a condition from the government that we never release them because they would have just found the closest campsite or restaurant and tried yeah. to order food. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yay. They have just been given today access to their lower pond. So it's a little bit harder to see them because they like to roam the entire five acres. <laughs> So they don't go up against the fence because they got the little shock once and that's it? Is that what happened? Well, yeah, when they were younger. Yeah. Um, purposely, we made sure that they touched it so that they knew that's right. a boundary. And at this point, it's uh, more of a mental block. Yeah. Um, but it's also their territory. They know that's theirs and this is ours and nobody goes in there, you know. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. I mean, they're smarter than we are. The rangers get 